Hello viewers, welcome again. I came up with a new interesting question from analog circuits. The question is, let me change the color of pen. Okay. The question is, for the circuit shown below, if beta equal to HFE equal to 100, given beta equal to 100 and VB equal to 0 0.7 volts, that means the potential across this is given as 0 0.7 volts. Now then the output voltage V0 in volts is, what is the value of this output voltage is the required thing to be found. You have to fi find what is V0. So you pause the video for a while, you try this question on your own and watch the video for solution. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to write a KVL equation here, KVL. Now from this widget you can see base current is given in this direction and emitter current is given in this direction. So the KVL equation will be 3 plus 7K into IB plus VBE plus 500 ohms into IE equal to 0. Sum of potentials in a loop equal to 0. Sigma V equal to 0 is the KVL equation. Now as here emitter current is present and base current is present, it will be comfortable if you write the equation in either IB or IE. So I am going to use the relation that is IC equal to beta times of IB, IE equal to IC plus IB, IE equal to IC plus IB. So if you substitute this in this equation then you can write IE equal to 1 plus beta times of IB. So now what I am going to do is, in place of IE, I am going to write 1 plus beta times of IB. Now all things are known in this equation, right? So now it will be easy for us to solve this. So 3 plus 7000 IB plus VB means 0 0.7 volts plus 500 into beta is given as 100. So 101 times of IB equal to 0. Now, no need to solve this equation because 7000 plus some value, you will get some multiple times of IB equal to minus 3.7. So now the current, the base current is clearly negative. So this is first observation that you should do. Now if you look here, now if you look here, emitter current is given as 1 plus beta times of IB. So obviously this value will also beta times of IB. So obviously this value will also be negative. So emitter current negative indicates that this transistor, this BJT is in cutoff, cutoff region. Which means input junction is open. So we call this as in cutoff region. If this BJT is in cutoff region, then the current flowing through this will be zero. So the current will be zero. Now the drop across this 3K is also zero, drop equal to zero. So what you will see is the same potential that is present here, that is minus 10 volts. So V out, the answer for this question is minus 10 volts. So this is your answer. Now the point that should be noted is here, the potential is negative and here it is ground which means the uh, the potential is decreasing from top to increasing from top to bottom the potential is increasing from top to bottom now you can also do the analysis in such a way that here the potential is negative here it is also negative but whether the junction is forward biased or reverse biased you should focus on those type of things also to answer this question directly that's all for this video hope you guys learned something new see you in the next one